I think we can all appreciate how ridiculous it is to evaluate a knife on its ability to hold soup. Unfortunately, this is not too far off the evaluation system of public schools that are at the mercy of standardized tests. Students are diverse by nature, just as utensils are. There is a different tool for every job. Keeping this in mind, how can we expect to get quality, reliable results by testing all the tools with the same task? This brings us to the most important question we can ask about the evaluation system. Are standardized tests an accurate evaluation of students' ability and intelligence? I don't think it should be the absolute measure. Uh, I think the, the teacher that has a student for 180 days probably knows a lot more about what that student is capable of than one two-hour test does. Uh, but at the same time, uh, a standardized test can give really valu valuable feedback to everybody involved about the student's retention of main concepts over time and their ability to apply them. I don't think that standardized tests are an accurate evaluation of student ability and intelligence because there are too many other factors that play into that test that are not relevant to the material that the student is being tested on. I think that the stress behind taking a standardized test, because it is stressful, anyone who's taken a standardized test knows that. You walk into this massive room where you've never studied any of this material before, it's very foreign. Uh, you walk into this room and you're just given a handful of rules, saying that if you break any of these rules, you're, you're going to fail, you're not going to get your test scores counted or anything like that. And I think that that just adds so much unnecessary pre pressure to the students. Um, because everyone's so worried about them cheating, but really, I think that that actually has a really negative effect on the students because they they're so focused on not breaking the rules that they're not even focused on the material anymore. So I think that is a factor of why standardized tests are not an accurate evaluation. I, I think when we when we treat these standardized tests like the one be all and end all instead of a piece to the puzzle, it really does just raise the anxiety for everybody involved. That's not a good thing. Additionally, I think that standardized tests are not an accurate evaluation because some people have intelligence in other areas. For example, a student might be amazing with mechanical minded things like like a car for example they might be able to do some phenomenal work with a car that technicians might take 30 years to learn maybe they it just comes so naturally mechanically really well minded but they fail their math test because they they aren't interested in math so they don't they're not inclined to study it for one two they their mind doesn't work that way. They don't, they don't understand how to write an English essay, but they understand how to take apart an engine. They're two completely different sides of the brain. And they, just because one student can write an essay for, for a test and pass, does not make that student smarter or more, more intelligent than the next student who fails their test, but they understand a completely different subject. The answer is no. Standardized tests are not a fair evaluation of students' ability and intelligence, just as eating soup is not a fair test for a knife.